Hello and welcome to the McDolphin Team Cup 2021 Event 5 Hurdles. I am Zach McDolphin, your host for today, and this is our track. Three hurdles for the marbles to race on, four lanes, so good heat system. Four heat marbles need cheat, top two advance, and semi finals again, top two advance, top two finishing first, that is. Um, for finalists for the rating for the medals. And anyway, we're gonna look at our standings with our teams. We have you can see down here, Speedy Sloths are at the top of the standings with the butterflies. In second, they are the light green team and the mint green team. So they to the octopi then, because we've got jellyfish team, McDolphin and green jungles. Pretty much everyone's close except the bottom two teams, cool chameleons. The yellowish greenish team with blue and red and the red and black team the ladybirds um this event the favorites are are the speedy sloths because they could they won the sprint our previous event the butterflies and the octopi because they were the top two in this event of the qualifiers and also the ladybirds were third in this qualifier event i think maybe they were fourth i think they were third though so see the heats of mar each row of marbles, so the top row marbles from each of the draws based on around championship standings, not the exact championship standings, they are going to be he heats 1, then 2, 3, and 4. So anyway, let's go on with the heats, starting off with then. So our first heat has Speedy Sloths, Team McDolphin, Birds of Prey, and Parrots. Both Sloths and Parrots medalled in the previous event. Finishing first and third, respectively. They'll be off in three, two, one. They're away. McDolphin with the advantage. They're going to hold it. Trouble for the um, parrots, but it's close between both birds of prey and speedy sloths. The team McDolphin are through. We'll have a look at the photo finish to see who came second. Turns out it wasn't very close, and the birds of prey, with their captain eagle, easily beats Buttercup of the speedy sloths. And yet again, the team who takes the championship lead. It's not going to finish in the top half for the fifth time in a row, I believe. Yeah, it is the fifth time in a row that the championship leader and the team aren't going through to the second top half in the next event. Very interesting. Now we have Butterflies, Marine Team, Green Jungles and Fritzes. Fritz is the only team not to have sat on the podium at any point in the season, but they are ahead of Marine Team in the standings, because Marine Team had a two last days in a row. Our reigning champion in three, two, one. There are way Oh, Green Jungles have failed to start. We can get one more rerun and then they get disqualified. Second attempt, Green Jungle's play stall again. Will be disqualified. Three, two, one. No way they are. Save this time. And they're going through. Marine team are not going through though. I believe it's Fritz's and Green Jungle's. There might be butterflies. Marine team's struggles continue in the hurdles. A new event for the season, which we saw in the qualifiers. They clearly haven't got the experience required to do so well in this event. And I can confirm, Captain of Fritz's. Fritz. Did just about beat, it, uh, that is, Glasswing of the Butterflies. So, second place in standings is also not going through. Now we have Octopi, Seahorses, Carnival Crew, and the Cool Chameleons. Three, two, one. The way all going, and it looks like it's going to be Carnival Crew for sure. And also the Cool Chameleons. It, actually, it looked like it was closer, but it really wasn't. The top two, a long way ahead of the two higher than them in the standings. Carnival Crew. Could possibly be a new record, but we'll have to analyse the times to see that. And for the final heat, we have the Jellyfish, Cream Team, Electric Heels, and this um, Ladybird. And three, two, one. They're away. They start with the Jellyfish, but they end up moving out. Cream Team a mile behind. I think is going to be yeah, the low two in the standings again, going through. The Ladybirds and the Electric Heels. Just quickly check the replay, because Jellyfish were close. It was... A, Quite a close race there. And as you'll see on screen, it is the Ladybug beating the Electric Eels, then the Jellyfish Crane team, possibly even the slowest time of the day. Seen some quite big names in the shape of Parrots, Marine Team, and Octopi, as well as now Crane Team, really struggling, which is unusual for those teams. All of them have got a medal so far in this season. In fact, every team eliminated has had a medal so far. This season, so it's been a very competitive season so far. A very unpredictable result today. So we now 
reached the semi-finals. We have Team McDolphin, the Fritzes, Carnival Crew, and Electric Eels going in the first of the two. Their way looks like a side adventure. The Carnival Crew people getting a win. The rest will struggle. But I think it'll be Electric Eels going through to the final, maybe trying to finally get a medal this season. We'll have to look who got third. Because that's quite an important position. We'll have to check the replays. I'm pretty sure it was those two who got third and third. Okay, moving from Team McDolphin then were convincingly take, took third place from the Fritzes, but the top two were the ones you already thought they were. Now for the second semi-final, coming off the back of that amazing performance by Carnival Crew, we've got the Birds of Prey, Green Jungles, those cool comedians, and the uh, Ladybirds, the bottom two in the standings are both in here. Only the Green Jungles have had a podium so far in their entire career, so we could very likely have a new one. Today, there's cool comedians of the lead. They're oh, that's very close. Buds of Pride definitely not through. I think cool comedians are going to advance, but it's very close to second and first too. Photo finish definitely required there. And looking at the photo finish, that is one of the closest finishes you've ever seen. The closest finish we've seen today, but it is going to be the ladybirds who go through. Just pipping the green jungles who went from first. Third after a poor final hurdle. Birds of Prey never really in the fray. Disappointing for them. But it's still a lot to ha can happen in the final. And we're going to have at least one debut podium finisher from the bottom tree in the standings. So this will be very interesting. And so the final of the hurdles. We've got the Ladybirds. Electric Eels. Their second finals appearance of the season. Maybe trying to get their first medal. The Carnival Crew, who are the fastest thing you've seen so far today, I think. It's on both their heats, really. Their run. And the Cool Chameleons, still looking for their first ever podium in the McDolphin Team Cup after this is now their 13th event in it. Who will win the gold in the hurdles in 3, 2, 1? We'll find out. Struggle for quite a few of them. It's close. But I think it's the Electric Heels are going to do it. Carnival Crew made a mistake and they've lost out. I think it might be. I think they'll be second, I think Cool Chameleons might be third, but I might be wrong about that. But I think Electric Eels have won the hurdles. Chaotic event, for sure. And with a dramatic outcome, I have to check the footage to see who gets addition though. It could be very, very close. Looking at the replay then, it's a very good start by the two on the closest to us. Cool Chameleons have a good lead then, Electric Eels shoot forward from two hurdles in a row. Then Carnival can make a challenge, but it's too late. And it's all oh, gonna have the photo finish for third, and... It's actually the Ladybirds who are going to get the medal over the Cool Comedians. But it's, it's second, it's third place, it is the Ladybirds. Second is the Carnival Crew. The first place, they may have not been the fastest in either of their heats. They were second in both their heats and their semi-final. But they were the fastest in the final. A brilliant performance by the Electric Eels. Their first ever win in the Golden Team Cup. Their first gold medal, their first first place. And now that's going to shoot them right up in the championship contention. I think Carnival Crew will be very pleased with that too. And bottom of the standings team, the Ladybirds, probably passed now the Cool Chameleons. So actually, maybe not, because I don't think they will actually. But they may well probably beat the Marine team and the Parrots again. They're having a tough season despite both meddling last time. Maybe we'll change it in the next event though. Anyway, let's get down to the podium. Now for the podium, we have the third place, Lady, the captain of the Ladybirds. Second, Eco Carnival from the Carnival Crew. And in first place, we have Shock from the Electric Eels. Sixth place, the fifth place in their previous event that they've done in 2020. Um, but in 2021, their first individual event, they will get first place. Eco Carnival improving from that same event, which they, which they, which they were in, they finished 15th, to get second, proving maybe hurdles is their specialty. I feel like, on the day, today in total, the Carnival group are probably the fastest, but that terrible second hurdle, or first hurdle really, two of those hurdles weren't very good, their final hurdle secured them second, I think there'd be one more hurdle, should they have they kept their momentum up, they would have won, but there wasn't one more hurdle, which means it was the electric eels. Meanwhile, um, I think both cool comedians, you see there, looking quite disappointed, still haven't broken their duck for the podium in the McDolphin Team Cup. 
It's the best result still ever. I think them and the uh, uh, ladybirds, they are often together. They were together in two of their races, and they both showed they were very racy. If not the best out there, they were suddenly up there, obviously, to get the podium. I think they very both deserved it. But at the end of the day, it is the first to the finish who gets it. So of course, it is the ladybirds. Standings then. Um, don't know the entire order yet, I haven't been quite sent it in. You'll hopefully be able to see it come up at some point on your screen. Um, likely the um, top three might say similar. The Octopi would probably lose out to Team McDolphin. Team McDolphin, in fact, could take the championship lead. It might have taken the championship lead. Don't sure though. Fritz's and Green Jungles and Birds of Prey will benefit, and obviously, Electric Eels and Carnivore, I reckon, will be getting themselves into championship contention, considering they were just um, tied together with those two actually and while within range of the Jimmy Ch lead should they take a win would they bring go tied they will they will be behind the speedy results however but anyway an amazing event and a great debut for the hurdles in the McDolphin team cup but that is all we have time for today unfortunately so remember to like and subscribe hit notifications on and then we'll say